My name is Lone Jessen and I work in DPPA's Policy and Mediation Division where I head the Gender Peace and Security Unit. We as the UN have obligations to help women realize their basic human rights so they, as half of the population of the world, can take part in decision making in which their future is essentially being decided. Women have the skills, experience and information that's needed to establish and maintain peaceful societies. They are leaders, activists and peace builders, and yes, sometimes members of armies or armed groups, but also mothers, wives and daughters. They may be the first to see and experience radicalization in their communities, armed builds up and growing insecurity. Research also shows that when women are fully involved in decision making, we get better outcomes for society at large, from increased economic growth and development to longer lasting peace. For DPPA's line of work, we look at ways to help women gain entry into the places where political decisions are made. This can be in the context of peace negotiations or being part of parliaments, governments, including local governments, places where they're often only represented in small numbers or not at all. This means we look specifically at the needs and perspectives of women when we try to assist in reaching peace or preventing a conflict from breaking out in the first place. We work with UN colleagues, governments, regional organizations and others to work towards and promote inclusivity from this gender perspective. The background for much of this work is the Security Council's so-called Women, Peace and Security Agenda. In 2000, the Security Council adopted the landmark resolution 1325. We are approaching its 20th anniversary and are pleased to see increasing emphasis on the need to implement its far-reaching goals. Under Secretary General Rosemary De Carlo in June 2019, launched the Women, Peace and Security policy to strengthen efforts within the department. We must continue to work to help ensure gender equality for women, especially in conflict-affected areas.